Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be talking about the color balance module. As usual, there is a big hint in the name. You can use this module to adjust the color balance of the image. The main feature of this module is that it allows us to change the color of the, of the pixels based on their luminance. What I mean by that is that we have separate controls for the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. First, we have the mode drop down uh, menu, and it allows us to choose between two methods uh, the old or classic one, which is the lift gamma gain, and the new one that's approved for uh, the new scene referred editing mode in uh, Darktable. One thing to note is that if you choose the old or the classic method, especially in the sRGB, the color space, you don't get the master settings. Next, we have our choice for the color control sliders, which are these three sliders that you can see here per luminance group. And our options are either the default, which is hue, saturation, and lightness, or you can see here, hue, saturation, and factor, or RGB and lightness, which is a more detailed or gives you more freedom in uh, um, calibrating or working on the uh, colors independently. And you have a combination of both. Next, we have the input saturation slider, and that's saturation that's applied before the color balance so it's applied to the input photo before we start changing the colors or editing them next we have the output saturation which is uh, applied after the color balance module so if you've already uh, made your changes and you find that the effect is uh, too heavy you can reduce the saturation here for all of them at once instead of having to go back and um, manipulate each uh, group separately. Next, we have the contrast fulcrum and contrast combination. Those two work uh, together. The contrast allows you to uh, increase the separation between the um, shadows and highlights and the fulcrum defines the values, uh, the luminance values, that will not be affected by this contrast correction. The contrast correction will be done in a linear fashion above the fulcrum and in a power function, so exponential function, below the fulcrum, so on the shadows. So the shadows will be affected more than the highlights, which might produce some undesirable effect. Now for the shadows, midtones, and highlights, it depends on the mode that we've selected. So on the mode slope offset power, the shadows will uh, control the offset. The midtones will be the power and the highlights will be the slope. So the actual recommended way of working on the image is to first do the highlights, as you can see, slope, and then do the offset then the midtones and you can see that in the mode name so that's the mnemonic that you can use to remember first work on the slope then on the offset and last on the power next we have auto optimizers the first one is optimize luma which will if you click on the color picker next to it it would select the whole image and it will try to optimize uh, the whole image uh, so that the average lum luminance of the image is 50% LAB. The maximum is 100 and the minimum is 0%. So it's more or less like the levels module. Let's disable it again and see what happens in the histogram here when I click on it again. spreads it across the whole range. You can control the minimum, maximum and average using the factor uh, 
color picker of the three. So you've got the highlights, which would be the maximum, the shadows, which would be the minimum, and the midtones, which would be the average. Let's give it a shot. So the highlights. Uh, I'll put that here. Keep a, keep your eye on the histogram, and you can see. And the shadows. Put that here. And the midtones. And where would be the midtones? Maybe here. Okay. That's where the output saturation would probably come in handy. Now, it, it did a better uh, uh, job on all by itself. But at least we know how to use them if we need them. Let's reset it. Try again. So, optimize by itself. I'll select the highlight. And then the shadows. Maybe this one is darker. And then the midtones, which is the most sensitive one. It's the one that, yeah, it's the one that has the most effect on the uh, on the um, automatic optimization here. So I think the way to go about it is to set the highlights and the shadows and then keep on trying the midtones to see what really works for you. The second auto optimizer is the neutralize colors. And you would use that if you have different color um, or different light sources in the image, like reflected light, uh, direct sunlight, or m maybe even a lamp, uh, where the color balance uh, would be difficult and especially the, the white balance would would be difficult so let's give it a shot and that's the uh, default this one is connected to the hue sliders so if you wanted to affect what it's doing we are going to pick the hue for the highlights oh, I guess the highlights probably in the red the shadows and the midtones. Well, of course, we can, like with the other one, you can make different selections and see what works. And here's its effect. With both of the auto optimizers, uh, you'll have to uh, try any combination of uh, um, factor or hue and just select different uh, patches to see what really works. Uh, I've noticed that mostly the output is quite saturated and you might have to use the output saturation slider to fix that. But it is quite essential to find a combination of a highlights patch, a shadows patch, and a midtones patch that work and give the effect that you're looking for. The module comes with quite a few presets, like the teal orange. Didn't have much effect on this photo. It's already quite teal and orange. Huh? This one is better. Do you have as well other presets that you can uh, go through and see what the effect is? As usual, 
you can either use them as is or just as a starting point and then uh, fine-tune them yourself that's it for this time uh, we'll use this module in the next uh, showcase session as well as an example I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions corrections or suggestions please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye bye